I thought while it's installing Windows 7, I thought we'd have a quick, little quick look around it. So it's got a nice sort of big, I don't know how big the screen is, but it's a nice clear screen. It's got a start button there that lights up blue because everything lights up blue nowadays for some reason. It's got, I'm not quite sure why everything lights up blue. We've got two USB ports. There's one here, which is the key, I've got the keyboard plugged in, and another one here. We've got a, I'm not quite sure what that is. I think that's some sort of like lock thing. A couple of logos. This thing here is so you can get also get like an optional keyboard for it, which sort of plugs into these two, and I think uses this USB. There's a little flap here, which I don't know what that does. Charging port. At the top there is, um, well there's a camera there, front fa facing camera and a rear facing camera, cooling vent. And right the way on the other side there's a headphone jack, I think that's sort of like a sort of headset one. Uh, power button, I guess volume up and down, A, I think that's an intake, air intake. Under here there's a little, well, actually a full size SD card, which is handy that it's got a full size one rather than a little sort of mini one. And it's got a full size HDMI, so you can, whoops, so you can actually plug this straight into your television and it would, yeah, you don't need any sort of adapter or anything. That is very cool and we're, we're at 30%, so hopefully this won't take too long.